Okay, mic should be on. Everything appears to be fine and dandy. Let's get rid of the usual text, which is this and that. There we go. And can't say hello. It appears to be just me. So yeah, it might just be me for a little bit. Not sure if Plow will be able to show up later or not. Can't really tell. Can't control people's lives, so you have to do with just me. So it'll just be like the first stream of this game again with Ghost Trick. So yeah. Let's uh, not waste time, get straight to it, and bear with me just voicing everything again. <laughs> right. There we go. Right. So, we're at chapter 5 now, so that's all good. Let's uh, see where this is going. And off we go. Also have to do double duty of paying attention to the chat. Fun. <laughs> when Lynn lost her life for the second time, she was being detained, on suspicion of my murder, but I saved her, hoping to solve my own mystery. Living creatures can choose to live their lives in one of two ways. They can either submit to their fate, or they can try to change it. Lynn is definitely in the second camp. As soon as I got back to the junkyard superintendent's office, this fact was really brought home to me. Fool! We told you not to let the suspect out of your sight! M my apologies, sir, but I never thought she would run away. Lynn is our angel, I mean, friend, I mean, she's like family to us. Angel, friend, or family, they all run when they have the chance. Do you have any idea how many years it's been since my wife ran away? I'm very sorry, I have no idea, sir. <laughs> You'll never make detective at that rate. Now, find Lynn. Yes, sir. Inspector Cavanella gets word of this, it's all over. So, a red-headed detective escaped, did she? I just barely saved her a few minutes ago. Whew, she's fast. Well, guess I'll look around for leads. I'm surprised that detective didn't take the book out yet, considering we pointed it out. Let's see what we can do. Well, uh, she's kind of gone far. They're over there. Hmm. All right, let's check out down here. I didn't get a good chance to look. What's down here? It just might be time to clean this room up. But will that close the matter? Her appearance here of all places, and tonight of all times. I hardly think it's a coincidence. Hmm. Interesting. Eh, not much to do in here, I don't think. Unless I can influence something. No. Alright. Well, uh... Need attention, I think. Maybe I'll just close this lid. Eh. I'll do something. Or, or, or not. Okay. Alright, we'll just take the step ladder over there now. Whee! What are they talking about? That old pigeon man. You suppose he's carrying out some sort of research here? Look at all these precision instruments and complicated devices. What are you doing? Just, uh, I think maybe this is how Lynn escaped. Through here. A trash compactor? You couldn't possibly fit in that tiny little elevator. Oh, I don't know, sir. Lynn is pretty slim. Fool! Don't you know that women can make themselves appear slim through fashion? To this day, I still don't know how much my wife really weighs. Well, I'm very sorry. I had no idea, sir. <laughs> You'll never make detective at that rate. I don't know. He's pointing out all the clues. Anyway, where is that old pigeon man? Oh, him, sir? He went through the door behind me, sir. one open. Apparently that door leads to the basement, but it's currently locked, sir. These instruments, they're all very suspicious. You better keep your eye on that old man, too. Yes, sir! Hmm. Basement, eh? Let's uh, double check on that guy, then. Maybe there's more information he's holding back. 
Oops. <laughs> well, let's just see what he has to say. I could swear I just saw this thing move. Don't tell me. Could it be? It sensed the tension between me and the detective and moved to get away from it? That was an unexpected tangent. I'll never make detective at this rate. What I need is some sort of achievement, a feather in my cap. If only I could find a helpful lead that might do the trick. A helpful and blindingly obvious lead is staring you in the face right now. Alright, let's point it out to him again. God damn it. Let's put a bit of spotlight into his future, I guess. Huh? This is Lynn's notebook. If I give this back to her, it might spark something between us. Hmm. What to do? What to do? This is a very complicated matter. What have you got there? What? This? Oh, uh, th th this is, um... Wait a minute. Is that? Y yes, sir. It's Lynn's notebook. Notebook, huh? Come to think of it, there was something about that in the report. Something about her looking at her notebook and making a phone call? Give me that. This must be it. This telephone number with the big circle around it. Aren't you curious to know who she was calling? Well, I am. I really am, sir. I'd like to know. Oh. But I don't have any ulterior motive for wanting to know, though. No, sir. No, sir. This number might be an important lead. I'd better check it out. Oh, I better trace that call then. Alright, let's see where that number leads. Did you even need to read the book this time? Hello? To whom am I speaking, please? Yes, hello. This is a criminal investigation. We need your cooperation. Hey, I know that voice. Is that you, Detective McCall? Oh, is that Officer Bailey? What's up, sir? You don't usually call this late. Oh, uh, did you get a call from one of our detectives, Lynn, earlier? From Lynn? Yes, I did. She calls every night. Maybe she senses it's about to happen. Did she say anything special? No, not really. Is something wrong? Yes, well, ahem. <clears throat> I might be contacting you again if I have any other questions. Oh, we have a number. I'd say we follow it. Got nothing else to do, really. I'm going to go down, uh, go to file the report down at the station. I need you to be vigilant here. Excuse me, detective, but what is it? That notebook. Would you mind if I gave? Mm. Oh, never mind, sir. Just stay on your toes. Right, well, uh, let's use the phone. With this mysterious number. Here we are. What was that call about? How did you say Lynn? I don't really know. If I had to take a guess, though, I'd probably say something's going on with her. <laughs> the only place in the world where nothing is going on is inside your brain, Bra uh, Bailey. <laughs> ah! What is that supposed to mean? I mean, I know what the words mean. That's not what I was asking. That was my way of expressing indignation, putting it in the form of a question. I just hope Lynn's not doing anything crazy. I'm a fan of hers, you know. According to my log, Lynn has been calling here nearly every night as, as of late. So let's see. This is the place Lynn took all that risk to call, huh? What exactly is this place? Well, why don't we find out? Let's see here. Oh, I, I can't reach anything. I'll have to wait. Here we go. Here's one. 
Let's have a look see. A memo. Yoink. Hey, what's this? Oh, that? I wrote down my duties for the night, so I wouldn't forget any of them. You can't keep them in your head. It's not like you have a ton of duties, after all. Use a little brain power. Yeah. What are you talking about? Weren't you the one who just said nothing was going on inside my brain? Hm. Didn't think you'd take it in quite that direction. So, let's see this important to-do list of yours. 9 o'clock, tell your prisoner C38 to the telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. 9 o'clock, huh? That's when Lynn usually calls. Well, we can't let her talk to him tonight. Rules are rules. Ugh, oh, poor Lynn. Sure wish I could comfort her. Oh, well, into the trash. Ah! What do you think you're doing? That's my important duties memo! That's okay. I've got it all memorized for you. Well, it's your duty to guard the telephone room, you know. Just make sure you do your job when the time comes. Oh, oh cool. Uh, I have a peek at that. Hello? Lynn! I'm sorry, I don't have much time. Please, let me talk to him. I'm sorry, Detective. I can't do that tonight. You can't? But you always let me talk to him before... Well, uh, the telephone room is already reserved. That's why. Oh. By the way, is something going on with you tonight? What? Why do you ask? I got a call from one of the other detectives a minute ago, asking about you. Oh, really? Well, I don't think it's anything important. Officer Bailey, do you think you could keep this call just between us? Even if only for tonight. Well, I, uh... Oh. Well, I've got to go. I'll call again tomorrow. Hmm. Another phone line. Well, now we know where Lynn is. Oh boy. Well, I guess I'd better call the detective division. Hold on there, Bailey. What? Don't tell me you're gonna report that call from Lynn. What else can I do? It's my duty. Just write it down on one of your important to-do lists. Then I can wipe it off for you and throw it away. You mean, you want me to keep quiet about it? Well, isn't that what she asked you to do? Well, yes, but tonight is kind of a special case for us. Can you make a special exception for my Lynn, too? Ah, <sighs> special case, huh? All right, you win. Hmm. Better make sure that note ends up in the bin, then. Just before I make my jump. I don't know what they think is special about tonight, but for me, it's my only night. Lynn is on the other end of that telephone line. I better hurry. Yeah, but he's writing a note, and I'm gonna make sure he ends up in the bin. Maybe. Is he gonna jot the thing down? Nah, it doesn't look like he's gonna. Alright, well, let's jump on in then. I can't go anywhere else anyway. Oh, god. Damn it. Not even five minutes and she's dead. Ugh. Lynn! Lynn! Oh, why couldn't it have been me instead? I'm no use as a police officer. It should have been me! It looks like she's dead. We better not touch her. Who did this? Who shot Lynn? Hey, excuse me, mister. You talking to me? This room. There aren't any other exits besides this one, are there? 
Do you see one? Huh? Then how did... We must have one of those mysterious locked room murder cases on our hands. One of those cases where the murderer vanishes into the thin air in a vacuum. Just go and find a real detective. I'll keep watch here. Yes, sir. What a terrible turn of events. So now a locked room murder, eh? Things never get dull for our redhead. I know of a certain inspector who might dance around at, at the thought of a mystery. But no mysteries for me. Not when I can rewind time and talk to the victim herself. Guess it's time to go back and see the truth behind this murder with my own eyes. Let's see here. Well, I can't go anywhere else anyway. I have to do it. <laughs> I died again. Uh, I thought you'd be a little more grave under the circumstances. Yeah, well, this is the third time, after all. It's scary what a girl can get used to, don't you think? Frankly, the way her mind works is a whole heck of a lot scarier to me. So what happened this time? Who shot you? I don't know. What? I'd like to know myself. Who could have done it? Who shot me? What are you asking me for? Oh boy. Guess I'll just have to go find out for myself. Okay. You just go do that. Hurry long now. I get the distinct impression I'm being used here. Okay. Looks like it's time to go back. Back to four minutes before your death. Again. Let's see what happened this time. How long has it been since I locked this room up in darkness? I once thought the truth could be discovered in darkness. Maybe it was just that the time wasn't ripe. Ooh, nice. That pigeon has a lot of usability. And it looks like that detective was wrong. Lynn can fit inside this thing. Hmm. I have to find out what that phone call is in a. Oh! Okay, it's just a way to get upstairs, I guess. Oops. Pretty sure I closed that on the way when I was here earlier. Oh. In she goes. Ooh. Ah, oh, it's a Rube Goldberg machine. Neat. I don't see how this involves a murder, though. Wait, that's a that's a gun. Oh. Ah. You know, you had all the time in the world to move out of the way of that. That's the truth behind our locked room murder. So the murderer was a mechanical murder machine. Murder machine? When I came into the room, it was pitch dark, so I turned on the light. That must have been what set it off. The murder machine. I mean. Can you please stop repeating the words murder machine? That old pigeon guy must have made it, but why? What could be the meaning behind this weird room? Anyway, you'll have to find some way to stop that creepy machine. Once Cupid fires his arrow, it's all over. I'm sure we can figure out something. Give me five minutes, or four specifically, and I'll fix everything. Right, so right now in this room, I can't really do anything until, well, I guess until that lantern is set down, so I'll have to wait. Same Daleks are going to happen, so I don't need to reread it. There you go. Can I 
reach it now? Yes, I can. But I can't reach anything else. So I'm stuck on this lantern until he gets to the door. I'll have to use the telephone then. There's nothing else to use. Could be now, I guess. And I can't use the phone until he uses it himself. Yeah, that's it. I can't really involve anything else until necessary. How did you manage to cram yourself into that tiny elevator? Now, I've always liked small cramps at places. Whenever I see a little hole or crevice, I always feel like crawling in. The place I feel most at home is that space between my bed and the wall. Yeah, I guess I can understand that. Ah, we're birds of a feather. We should get together and talk about it sometime. Neat. This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line glows red, but it's dark right now. Hmm. In the four minutes before death world, it looks like I can't use the telephone lines whenever I want. It's a very specific rule, but it exists. It stops you from leaving the room itself, really, I guess. Okay, here we go. Oh, um, is this the superintendent? I'm so glad. I thought I was all alone. I'm gonna go there, because if I stay there, I'm just gonna be wasting time. An on-screen transition would have been nice from that telephone to this one. Not a, you know, loading screen. It's all the same room anyway. Be young up. Right, let's uh, alter face just a tiny bit. There we go. Lynn ran away. The detectives yelled at me. The old pigeon man ignored me. And then the kettle nearly scared me to death. My life is in complete shambles. That's gratitude for you. You were just trying to warn him with the kettle whistle. Would he prefer getting scalded by the steam? Well, at least his fate was changed a bit. That's good anyway. <clears throat> right, now that he's moved the kettle, we can go downstairs. Yeah, I can't do anything. I guess I'll have to stay here until the ball moves. Which will be right now. <clears throat> right, we are on a bit of a time limit here, so, you know, use the time that we have. Let's see. Use this. I need to open this first. Go. Race against time here. Ha. Uh, I think I made a mistake. I'll have to go back. I made a mistake. This is a good demonstration of rewinding time a little bit. If you make a fate change, you can go back to that instead of going back to the start. It's a pseudo checkpoint system. It's useful. Alright, let's try this again. I was jumping the gun a bit too fast here. It is going to be close, though. Alright, so I need to be here. And I need to wait for the ball to be on the floor before I actually do anything. So, this is going to be close. There it goes. Ah. Maybe if we were on a putting, putting green. Well, with a swing like that, maybe we could put it to some use here. Good thinking. I just might be able to use this trick somehow. I could change the path the ball takes. That's great and all, but it looks like we're all out of time this round. I can't do anything. Damn. Alright, well, we got something. The keys to this murder machine. It's that cheeky little Cupid who fires the arrow. If only we could get that ball to fly over and hit him. Yes, maybe that would stop our little Mr. Cupid. Yes, I'd better rewind the clock again, see if I could pick up any other clues. There must be something here we're missing. Let's see if I can alter anything else. Maybe this time I'll stay on the ball. Yeah, let's, let's stay on the ball. Maybe this might be more beneficial to me. Ah. 
Ah. That changes things. Oh. Damn. Damn. I've lost my spot. Okay, let's try that again. I need that ball as soon as possible. If I can't use it, then um, I can't get back up to the top. This is going to be tricky. As soon as it lands on the floor, I get to the cake, I guess? The wooden thing in the center to get to the trapdoor, and then I can use that and I quickly get back up. So as soon as it gets to there, I go over here, open it up, and then... There we go, and... Eh, eh. Ah! Damn! It's out of range. So I might just roll a little bit closer. Up there. Yes. Okay, this is gonna work. Now. Here we go, here we go. Yes. Did it. What just happened? It looks like your future just got a whole lot rosier. Your death has been erased. Again. I, uh, thank you. You kept your promise, didn't you, Cecil? My promise? You said I'd see you again if I died. I don't remember making any promises. It's sold for my own benefit anyway. What could this room be all about? Hmm. I can't imagine. Those things that went off at the end, those were party poppers, weren't they? Party poppers? I have no recollection of what those are. But that's no surprise. The party poppers, the gun going off, it seems familiar somehow. I'll leave that part of the puzzle to you. I have my own puzzle to figure out. Well, should we go back now? Back to your new present? Yeah, see, she decided to stick around this time. Cecil? Are you there? Lynn is talking to me? I better talk back then. If you're there, could you say something? If you're not there... Yes, I'm just a weird girl who talks to herself. Well, you are kind of a weird girl, whether you talk to yourself or not. Alright, well, uh, let's communicate. You are here, I knew it. I just had that feeling. Shame on you for stepping foot into a girl's head uninvited. Wait a minute. Don't give me that a ghost doesn't have feet bit. It's just a figure of speech. Hey, did I say anything? There, that tone. It's that tone of yours that makes me mad. So, did you have something particular you wanted to say to me? I just thought I'd share some information with you. I'm investigating a case right now. A murder case. And I'm doing it alone. Murder case? All by yourself? Yes, well, that's because the case was closed a long time ago. The culprit is already behind bars, forgotten by the world. So, why are you looking into it then? Because I think the person's innocent, that's why! There's something strange behind the case. Some big mystery. I firmly believe that. So, anyway, I finally have my memory back. I'm not at liberty to tell you about the case. But if there's anything else you want to know, I'll try to answer what I can. Lynn's my only lead. I would like to ask her a few things. Okay, about the one who shot me. You have your life and your memory back now. So, let me ask you again. Who shot me tonight? Yeah, I thought that might be the first thing on your mind. What else would it be? There's a good chance I was shot one when I was, while I was with you, after all. I'm afraid my memory just isn't clear on that part. Not clear? I met with you tonight, and then you fell down right in front of me. I think I remember seeing that part. I'm pretty sure you were shot. Maybe from somewhere far away? So you didn't see the culprit? I'm sorry. I wish I could be of more help. But I know I wasn't the one who shot you. Your colleagues seem to think you're a suspect, though. I wanted the information you had for me. So why would I shoot you before I got it? Information, huh? 
I wonder what info I had for her. By the way, I see you have a little roommate. Camilla? How do you know about her? There was a tiny incident at your apartment a little while ago. An incident? What kind of incident? What happened? Is Camilla alright? She's fine, thanks to her loyal little friend, Missile. Although, I did have a little trouble bringing him back to life. Oh my. What in the world is going on? Why would anybody want to hurt Camilla and Missile? You're being targeted by a certain organization. What? <laughs> I saw them. The people who, who were calling you their target. So, I'm a suspect and a target? Could this night be possibly get any worse? It does sound pretty rough. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Huh? You know what they say. When it rains, it pours. Isn't it time you admitted you need me? Need my powers? I'm sorry. I can't cooperate with you. Yes, you saved my life tonight. I'm completely grateful for that. But as a detective, I still can't trust you. That's too bad. So, I had some important information that you wanted, huh? That's right. You called the station yesterday, and you asked to talk to me. You told me you had an important lead on the case I was working on. Important lead, huh? You said you wanted to meet me and talk to me directly, tonight at the junkyard. And you fell for it, even given how fishy it sounds. You're the last person I want to hear that from, you know. But I just couldn't let it go, no matter how shady it seemed. That's because I'm running out of time. Hey, that's right. You said something was going down tonight. Does that something have to do with the case you're working on? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Oh boy, but I guess I understand. Well, that's all we can get. So what are you going to do now? Run, I guess. They'll catch me again if I don't get out of here. I have to get to this restaurant. I'm worried about Camilla. Oh yeah. What was it? The Chicken Kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? What about you, Cecil? What are you going to do? I don't know, to tell you the truth. You're my only lead if, if you leave. I just realized, you and I are in the same boat. We're both looking for answers tonight, and neither one of us has anybody to help us. That about sums it up. Hey, even if you can't cooperate with me, how about if we just agree to use each other? That's not a bad idea, Your You're on. But can I ask you to do a favor for me first? What's that? I need you to sneak into a certain place for me. Prison, to be exact. Prison? That's the place I was calling from the office upstairs. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Work schedule? For a prisoner? Yes. The prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. So, just go check out a certain prisoner's blackboard, huh? Okay. His prisoner number is D99. If you do that for me, I'll cooperate with you. Okay, you're on. Okay, see you later. See ya. But don't die again, if you can't help it. It looks like I hold the key to the case Lynn is investigating, and she holds the key to solving the mystery of me. So we start up a strange relationship of cooperation. Lynn gave me an assignment. My task is to go check out tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99. I better get to the prison. Alright, that's a chapter down. Another to go.
Lost Memories of Self, a forgotten murder case. Dead guy and a detective join forces to find out the truth behind them both. The detective has assigned the dead guy a task, to sneak into the prison and find out a certain prisoner's schedule for tomorrow. What should I care? I don't have a schedule for tomorrow. That's how I'm feeling about it at the moment. Right, I'm over here. I better get to the nearest phone, which would be using this. Yeah. There we go. And I go over here. And in here. What's going on here? It's all over. It's all over for me. Lynn, sweet, cute Lynn, who shines as bright as the sun, ran away on me. And then those detectives... Matching bookends, blue and green, yell at me. Hmm. Forget about all that. Now you listen to me, kid. Yes, sir. You're bright as the sun, Lynn. Probably doesn't even know you exist. And those detectives will probably yell at you all your whole life. Never mind fretting about every little setback. Enjoy your life. Get what you can out of it. Mister, would you mind just leaving me alone? <sighs> Lost cause, that one. <laughs> what was on the phone? Let's try that again. Right, uh, let's see. It's that one, yes. Right, let's uh, try this place again. So, how are the preparations coming along? I think they're taking care of them right now. Yeah? Man, I'm not looking forward to this. That kind of surprises me coming from you. I didn't know you thought about such things. By the way, that was me being sarcastic, just in case you didn't catch that. Two more hours, and then it's time. I guess we should just get back to work. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I'm gonna investigate all these notes. The atmosphere sure seems tense. I guess I'll just get back to my work as well. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. His prisoner number is D99. Alrighty then. How do I get to these cells? I better try to get some information here first. Right, let's see... Ah, it's all crumpled up. I bet you it's the same note from earlier. So I'm gonna let it loose. Hey, Bailey. What's the matter? You can't even pin up a mem memo properly? Let me see this thing. Take prisoner C38 to the telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. You already told me that earlier, C38, eh? What did that punk do anyway? You never heard the story? About the secret rendezvous case? Secret who? What? C38 was a singer in a band. His group was playing a concert that was being broadcast all over the country live. And right in the middle of their encore, there was a huge incident. A huge incident? What was it, a murder or something? In a way. It was even worse than a murder, because it had to do with national secrets. Huh? National secrets? A rock band? I'm lost. The song they were doing was called Secret Rendezvous, but the lyrics C38 was singing were completely different from usual. So how is that a huge incident? Because the new lyrics exposed all the nation's dark, seamy secrets. Budget misappropriations, foreign economic strategies, illicit dealings, everything. He was caught red-handed in the act of leaking national secrets. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense in the first place. How could a rock scene know any top secret information? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask C-38 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. Hmm. 
Would you quit throwing my important duty members away? Well, that's one. Let's have a look at another. Hey, Bailey. Try pinning up your members a little better next time. Let me see this thing. Inspection Prisoner C74. Oh, it's almost time for that. I better prepare. Prisoner C74, huh? What did that big whale do anyway? You don't know? About the Metro Police Department siege case? Metro who... what? C74 barricaded himself into the Metro Police Department and took siege to the place. He even pointed a huge flamethrower at the Chief Commissioner. What the heck did he do all that? That's what the detectives who surrounded him asked, too. What are your demands, they asked. And? The guy looked confused, thought about it for a while, and said, Bring me five servings of curry and rice, on the double. Curry and rice. That's it. Unfortunately, you no. Know, after he was done eating, he torched the commissioner's office with the flamethrower. Torched it good. Important documents and the commissioner's mustache were destroyed by the flames. What the heck did he do all that for? Because the curry was too spicy, he said. Hmm? It was too spicy and he just... I just lost it, he said. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. It doesn't make any sense. In the first place, how did a huge armed guy make it all the way into the commissioner's office alone? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask C7 for himself? Maybe they did, but... They haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. Hmm. Ah! Would you quit throwing my important duty members away? Ooh, another. Let's throw that one away too whilst we're at it. Ooh, I just like throwing all these away. Hey, Bailey. Let's see what this one's about. Let me see this thing. Bring dinner to prisoner D99. Ah, this is the one we want. The chief is preparing it for him now, right now. Oh, how fancy. D99, huh? Even I know about this one. Yeah? Such a sad case. Hard for us, too. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member? It's just awful. Why in the world did he do it? Why would he do something like that, of all people? The motive, everything. All a complete mystery. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't make sense that he would do anything like that. I don't know the details, but apparently, this case is a matter of national secrecy as well. I don't get it. None of it makes any sense. You do know what kind of prison this is, don't you? It's a special prison built just for these kinds of special cases. That D99, who knows what he's thinking or hiding behind that beard of his? I don't like any of it. I knew I couldn't take my job seriously without getting to me. So the prisoner I'm looking for, D99 was convicted of murder, huh? And he apparently has a beard. Well, I'm gonna throw this away. Ah! Would you quit throwing my important duty members away? Oh, hello there, Woozy Tiger. <laughs> it's just me today, so I'm voicing everything till eventually Plumber might show up. Oh, it's a rock and roll dude, alright. Hmm. Not bad. Right. Uh, I suppose that's our cue to leave. Ooh, he's just finished his card of towers. Nice. Yeah, it's done. Right. Uh, he could leave, or I could let loose this one last note. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. 
Yoink. Hey, Bailey. Let's see what this one is. This has to be the last one. Would you quit sending these memos over here? No. Hmm? Not until I figure out how you always know the exact instant a memo starts falling. Not until I solve that mystery. He's got a point. Ah! Next time, I will find the answer. Next time. I guess it's time to try and find a new path. Right, so I think from now on those notes would be completely different. Let's just try going over instead. No, we're not. Alright, we'll take advantage of the fact we can move with this. There's a buffer time before I can get thrown away, so... It gets its attention. There we go. Now I move over here. I wonder what this switch does. I think it's the same line. Yeah, it is. I don't have to read it again. I can get better um, sticky note tacks, whatever that board. It's not very good. Right, what does this lever do? Oops. Ah! There you go again, fooling around with that thing. It wasn't me. Don't lie. You know you love to see me jump up and prepare for an emergency. Oh yeah? Sure. Way back when I first got this job, but I've had enough of that now. Besides, you always react exactly the same way. Oh. The emergency switch is probably just loose. Or because I fooled around with it too much. Yes. It's so loose the switch fell upwards, not downwards. Well, it's for emergencies. Don't play with it. Anyway, it wasn't me. Maybe you ought to get it prepared, huh? I'll close it back up. It's making me feel on edge. Nah, too much of a pain. A pain? Proper emergency procedures are a pain to you? What a sad, sad state of affairs. Yeah, he's not going to move it. But that means more platforms to move around with. Uh, I think i go over here. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, Alright, I need to use that phone, so if I just do that to get some leverage. Open that all the way. There we go. Let's see. Oopsie daisy. Uh, I can't use the phone. I just have to see what he has to say. I'm guessing that's the kid they were talking about. The one who's saying the national secrets. He's a prisoner, he must have come from the cells. Hmm, I guess it's a matter of waiting. I can't do anything else now. So this is the thing that was making that horrible noise a second ago. I guess it's a way for this spiky-haired youth to express himself. Sentiments like, I'm hungry, or I'm thirsty, maybe. Something primitive like that, I bet. Peace out! I'm done. Alright, C38, back to your cell. Hey god, man, how about giving me a little space? That crazy walk of yours is dangerous, man. A proper walk for a properly led life. Now let's go. Yo, no lectures, man. I walk my own path, my own way, to my own music. Rock on. Yeah, he's giving me a free ride to his cell. Nice. Well, at least it's small. Not being that hard to figure out. So, I finally made it to the cells. Now to find prisoner D99 and check out his work. That work schedule for tomorrow. What could Lynn possibly want with that information? Well, now it's a matter of getting around. Damn! Don't think I could take another second in this stinking pit. Looks like Godman is gone. Nice shot. 
<laughs> That'd be nice. Oh, it's waiting. It's wiping me out. Hope this won't finally do it. Here it goes. Come on, sausage head. That's a group effort going on here. Let's see. Looks like a signaling system, so I'm guessing if I do this... There's a pad of notepapers hanging on the wall. There's a red O drawn on each one. I think it's some kind of letter or symbol, but I don't recall what it means. In Japan, the circle means good and the X means bad. <laughs> this telephone. It looks like it's an internal line only. It doesn't call outside the prison. So the only places I can go with this telephone are other phones within the building that I've already possessed. Alright. Is there anywhere I can go? In the guard room. Alright. Well, that's the system, I guess. What does this do? Boop. Hmm. An emergency button. An emergency in a prison. That's gotta be a pretty bad situation. I'll just give it a little try. Ah, it is a communication system. Hmm. I think I have to wait for the next pass. I think that's my way getting down, I think. It caused quite an uproar, I guess. And I bet each prisoner reacts differently to the alarm. It might be fun to watch. Let's see if I want to change my view, I can slide the screen. Or use the D-pad, which we're not. We're doing this emulated. Oh, hello. Ah, so he's receiving the communications. There he goes. Huh. You just barely missed that. All clear. Oh good, it's a good fade out when they need to leave. Okay. So if I sound the alarm, it gets people moving, huh? Maybe I can use their movements to get around myself. Alright, well I think I know what I need to do. I better be quick, I'm gonna miss it. So this is one of those little blackboards Lynn mentioned. Let me just give it a little read. Tonight. I lost a lot of things in my life. My memory. There's a certain skill I've apparently lost too. I can't read! I can see that there's some kind of writing on the blackboard, but I have absolutely no idea what it means! I can't read prison at D99's work schedule for tomorrow. What do I do now? Quick, before you lose it. Uh, here we go. I'm just gonna pop a ride down. Go, go, go! Ah, yes, that's exactly how a sewer system works. Oh, he really is a sausage head. It doesn't matter looks of it, he's supposed to be in a coma with all that medical equipment, but... Nope. He's faking it. Oh, he's being pulled out, so that's good. I'm surprised that piece of paper isn't, like, soaking wet or destroyed on the way down here. Paper doesn't last very long in water. Especially if it's being moved around. There goes the fat man. Digging his way out. <laughs> Neat. Right. Uh, I suppose I better get moving. Ah, I know. If the fat man responds with the sound of this bell, regardless of what it is, I bet you something will happen. He'll go as fast as he possibly can. And I'll just hop on on this spoon to get across the, the gap. Whee! There we go. Right, now I can get to the other cell. Same thing here. It looks like this is just an internal phone too. It doesn't call outside. So the only places I can go with this telephone are 
other phones within the building that I've already possessed. Yep, good, good factor there. Nice job. Right, we're here. He's got a beard. Mm hmm. What a strange cell. And the prisoner inside it. He seems to be enjoying himself. This is the last cell in this area. So that means that this man humming to himself must be prisoner D99. According to what the guards said. D99, eh? Even I know about this one. Yeah? He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a, a family member. What in the world really happened? Why is Lin so concerned about this prisoner? I don't know the answers, and I guess there's no need for me to know. I have only one objective, and that's to find out what this painter's work schedule is for tomorrow. Well, the blackboard's right above his head, so it shouldn't be that hard to get to it. Let's see... Uh, ah! I'll use this to get a bit of leverage. Up here, and then... Here we are! So, the work schedule for tomorrow, prison D99. The information Lin's looking for should be written on this blackboard. Unfortunately, I've lost the ability to read. But here I am anyway. The least I can do is take a look. Huh? Well, what could this mean? There's nothing written on the board at all. I think something was written on the blackboards of the other prisoners. But this board is as clean and blank as the day he was hung there. So I have the answer Lin was looking for. Tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99 is... Nothing. Would this information mean anything to her? It's not to me to know or care. That's how I feel at the moment anyway. Hmm, well now what? Not being able to read, I was wondering how this was going to turn out. Some things in this world can be read, even if one can't read. Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow is blank. I better get this important information to Lynn as fast as I can. Right, well, uh, we better get the uh, hell out of here. The nearest phone is right there, so let's use it. D99, dinner! Quite a feast tonight, I see. Ah, I'm absolutely crazy about this chicken. It's too bad it's all cold and hard, though. I'd say it's been about two hours since it was cooked, judging from the way it feels. D99? I know it's kind of pointless to ask now, but just the same, I still want to know. Why did you do it? I agree, it's pointless to ask now. My case is colder than this chicken and has been forgotten by everybody, myself included. Detective Jowd. Now then. Let me eat in peace before it gets too cold to cut. There's one more thing I've been wondering for a long time. What's that? Who is the man in that painting? Oh, this? Well, being in prison like this, you start to forget faces, you know. So, I paint the faces that I don't want to forget. And this is the last of those faces. That's me! Now, could you leave me alone for a bit? Let a man eat in peace. Okay, sure. Sorry to bother you. Well, the, the, the paint is me! What in the world? What in the world could this mean? Why is there a painting of me in this man's cell? Who exactly is this prisoner? The man whose case Lin is investigating is painting a picture of me in his cell. I have to go see Lin. Fast. And not for her sake. For mine. To solve this mystery of me. Alright, better get to the telephone then. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's just scarfing down that chicken like, Jesus, big chunks and everything. It won't take him long for him to finish, either. <laughs> Better make it quick, then.
Yeah, yeah, we know. I've got to get to a place that has an external line, and fast. Well, we better get to the guards' room, then. Here we go. Thank God it's linked to the same phone. This is headquarters. What's the status over there? Oh, Chief, it's you. They're making preparations now. No problem, sir. How much longer, then? One more hour, sir. I see. Carry on, then. Oh, one more thing. Inspector Cabanella wishes to speak to you. Evening, Cabanella here. How are you boys doing? Inspector Cabanella, fine, sir. You got another little call tonight, didn't you? From my baby? From Lynn? Uh, well, yes. Did my girl have anything interesting to say? Uh, not especially. She hung up almost immediately. I see. Next time she gives you a buzz, be sure to let me know right away. That's a good fellow. Yes, sir. You try to cover up, and I'm sure you'll regret it. Very much. Very much. Yes, sir. I'll call you right away, sir. Immediately. Don't forget, she's a fugitive, after all. Yes, sir. Carry on, then. I might pop in a little later. Yes, sir. Looking forward to seeing you, sir. Nice. Another number. We better follow that one, too. Lynn should be heading for the chicken kitchen now. The call from police headquarters intrigues me, too. And it's looking pretty obvious right now. That white suit inspector suspects Lynn. She's been considered a fugitive. This is not good. I wonder if I should go check in on the chief and the inspector in white, too. I think this is a case of purely optional quest here, really, I think. If you want to go have a detour. Inspector Cavanaugh seems to be looking for her, too. You're Lynn, I mean. Inspector Cavanaugh? What would the special investigation unit want with Lynn? I don't know. I guess it's something happened that we don't know about. It's not at all nice. Inspector Cavanaugh must be upset tonight, too. Why he and prisoner D99, D D Detective Jow, good friends? You sure about that? If they were such good friends, how come Inspector Cavanaugh never came to visit him? He's the spe he's the head of special investigation. He's a very busy man. Ah, oh. what's wrong? My deck of cards just fell. Jow was my hero, you know. I wanted to be a detective because of him. But look at me. Rotten away in a place like this, and I can't even do anything to help Lynn. What am I doing with my life? This is new side of you is kind of endearing. Anyway, the thing to do is work at fixing what you can, little by little. Like, for example, your house of cards. It collapsed, you know. Ugh. Hmm. I'm sure you can fix that up. Right. Next on the line. Mystery number. Go! Getting a lot of heavy story elements with this one, and Palmer picked a bad day to not see it. Preparations seem to be going smoothly over at the prison. Eh, Inspector Cabanella? We were just a little too late. So close, eh, Inspector? We still have a little time left, Chief. Not much, but some. We've had Point X surrounded all night. If he shows up, we nab him, and we can still make it. By the way, what's going on with that other case? The junkyard murder? She did it, huh? No question about it? She's a bad little baby. Disappearing from the scene like that? I wonder where she ran off to play. What did he say? She did it? Did I hear that right? I think they were talking about the culprit who killed me. No way. Hmm. It's getting deeper. I just don't believe it. Why would she do a thing like that? I'm afraid I don't have the answers for you, Chief. I don't want to believe it any more than you do. And yet... After seeing this, maybe we don't have any other choice but to believe, baby. Is that security camera tape the investigation you just delivered? I can't deny. 
with some pretty solid evidence against her. Evidence. Nothing like it, baby. <laughs> Why a murder case now? It's such an important night. I think you have that wrong, Chief. A murder case now for the very reason that it is such an important night. This is just getting more interesting. And I oh, can't reach it. I gotta do it the long way around. Oop. And then over here. Here we go. Lower the projector. Let's watch a movie. Alright. What we got? Oh, wow, it's in HD. The junkyard where I died had a security camera. And it captured the moment of my death perfectly. And what the tape showed me was the cruelest truth imaginable. Well, there we are. There's no sound, so we don't know what they're talking about. And she's pulling up her gun. Oh no. Oh god. She missed her first shot. Hmm. So she did it. She must have been so traumatized, she must have blanked out of her memory. I saw myself shot. Right before my own eyes. By Lynn. There goes my only lead. I feel like I've died all over again. One thing sticks with me, though. Lynn looked so surprised on that tape. What in the world did I tell her? The truth is the truth. No matter how many times you watch it, Inspector Cavanella. It wasn't me who played the tape just now, baby. Oh, by the way, Inspector Cavanella, there's something on that tape that troubles me. And what's that, Chief? I'm all ears. I had to look at all the photos of the crime scene as well, but... The place where the victim was shot and where the body was found is clearly different. Hey, he's right. That is strange. The hitman in black is the one who kicked me downstairs, but I changed his fate, so he should have been out of the picture. But there I am, down on the lower level. I have the answers to your mystery right here, a few minutes after the murder took place. Keeps a cat in the bag. Hmm. Well, that would explain it then. Is that a black cat? You got it, baby. A furry feline messed up our crime scene. And then the little cat culprit vanished into the night. Hmm. It looks like my destiny of being knocked downstairs is very hard to alter. This is Point X. Come in, Chief. The Chief here. Did you show up? Uh, no, sir. Not yet, but... Idiot! I told you to stay off the radio unless it was important. But this is important, sir. Somebody else showed up. Our rookie detective, Lynn. What? You see my baby over there, do you? I heard she was on, on the lam. What do you want me to do, Chief? What do you say, Inspector? Detective, get my baby away from Point X. Do it now, man, and then hold on to her. Uh, yes, sir. I'll go get her now, sir. What's the meaning of this? Why would Ling show up at Point X? 
took the special investigation unit six months to pinpoint that location. Don't know, Chief, but I'd say it wasn't a coincidence. Perhaps. What happened? Detective, come in! Now what? What happened this time? Damn it! This calls for a telephone call to Point X. Allow me. Well, better find where Point X is, I guess. Let's see, and I gotta get there the long way around. Yeah, stupid projector. Just and then, yeah, here we go. What are you doing? Get your buns over here! What did you say? Now I finally understand. I finally know what it's like for our poor, hungry customers who have their food deliveries delayed. Excuse me, but this is the chicken kitchen, is it not? What? Aren't I talking to the police? Police, did something happen there you need assistance with? Something happening here, you ask? More like, there's nothing left here! I gotta go! Wait, wait! What's going on? Something, that's what. Something's definitely going on. And that something is far from nothing, that's for certain. Thanks for the tea, Chief. I'll be on my way. You're going to Point X? Point X, huh? I'll leave that to the boys. There's someplace else I gotta be. Inspector, you, your being there isn't going to change anything. Why put yourself through it? I have a responsibility. I'm gonna see it through to the end. Besides, it's not quite over yet. Right, that's true. Do what you must then. Prisoner D99 schedule for tomorrow was blank. It seems like forever ago that I found that out. And now my mind is even blanker than that blackboard was. Lynn, my only lead and my partner, shot me. What did it all mean? I knew where I had to go to get my answers. The chicken kitchen, point X, the police have surrounded, and the place where something big just happened. Why will Lynn be involved in this time when I find her there? Who knows? Find out next time in Ghost Trick! Right. That shall do. That's the two chapter minimum requirement. Ugh. The lore is getting deeper and deeper. My god. Right. Uh, here we go. Let me just get to the preview screen. It's getting more accurate by the day. <laughs> right. There we go. Right, so that will do for a stream. Uh, not quite sure if uh, the next stream, which will be Tuesday, would happen. Not quite sure. Certain things are happening in this household in the next few days, so we'll just have to see. But just keep an eye open for Tuesday. Until then. Uh, yeah, until next time. Bye all.